Now we're going to stay with business because we're joined now by Steve Bonham, who is an international business psychologist. His new book hits the shelves here this month. It's called A Little Nostalgia for Freedom, Living Life to the Full. And it argues that our voluntary slavery to the banks, the builders and the bureaucrats ultimately leads to a lack of fulfilment in our lives. Uh, Steve, thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. This is the book. It'll be on the shelf shortly. Or is it already on the shelf? I think it should already be there. OK, very good. Can I ask you now, I've just been looking at this. One of the things you say in it is that we are hardwired to fear going out there. Well, explain that to me. I mean, it's the basic tenet of the book, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think we, as people, we're fairly paradoxical. And a bit of us is fairly tribal. We're, we like to stay within the community. We like to belong to the, to the organisation. Um, we like to be part of the club. Um, and being outside of that makes us nervous and anxious. On the other hand, there is a bit of us that says we like to wander, we like to explore, we like to sort of break free of that. And that's kind of the paradox that makes us who we are as, a, as a, an animal, I guess. So what, what are you advocating that we should do? I think we're in a really interesting time in, in, in our lives. I think the world of work is changing uh, dramatically. Um, and we have this moment, I think we're all in a collective midlife crisis, you know, there's about what work is about, what, what our lives are about. Work-life balance, all of those things. All of those things. And, you know, the deal was pretty straightforward. Um, in, in the past, what we would do, is we'd, we, we'd study hard for our qualifications and we'd go and work for an organisation. And they would offer us security, they would offer us status, uh, they would offer us companionship. Um, it wasn't just a matter of safety, you know, it was those things. If we're lucky, they also offered us interesting work. Um, but in return, we had to do as we were told, we had to do what was expected. It was really, really important that we were consistent. If you want to frighten a, 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 an organisation, beha behaving consistently. Um, <laughs> So that, that was the past. That's what past. what, so what is it now? now? Where we're now is that, well, a couple of things. That kind of doesn't really work for organisations. More and more organisations are saying, actually, we do need you to, to be a bit more rebellious. We do need you to push at the edges of uh, what's expected of you. Kind uh, of a bit more entrepreneurship. A bit more entrepreneurship, a bit more... Innovative thinking. Putting your hand up and saying, that's a really stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, you know, and this is you know, going to be shocking for you know quite a lot of senior executives. But absolutely, actually, I it, don't know many organisations no, who'd like actually, people to do that. But you know, if you look, I was talking to a friend last night and talking about uh, better not mention the company, but an Irish company that's already broken those rules, already yeah. saying you know the world is about exploring who you can be. Your contribution here is about exploring who you can be. And Steve, briefly, you've got five steps or some steps towards realising this. What are they? I'll just, this is the book here, camera three, there we go, yes. Um, talk me through the steps to, to realising oh, well, what I you think, think we could. There's five things, I think. One is, which are predicated on not being completely a slave to, to goals. One is to realise the potential of the moment you're in. It's very hard for some people now. I mean, life has been traumatic, to say the least, but starting to see the world and its potential. So be wild. Be like an... Yeah. Be strong. Be, do the things that make you feel comfortable. Ask yourself, am I off balance? OK. Be so experimental. be wild, be strong, be, be experimental. experimental. Travel with companions. Have people around you who, who tell you how it is. And the last one, I guess, is take the first step, the one you're probably afraid of taking at the moment. OK. OK, well, listen, Steve, that's on the shelves now. Thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. Thank you. Cheers.